Hi everyone, I am going to demonstrate how to graph using this online tool, desmos.com calculator. So when you type it in, you automatically get to this screen that you see, right? I'll just do it again so you can see. And I'm going to be working on some of the problems that I assigned you for this week uh, on page 144. Let's just start with that one. Um, I'm going to label my graph 6 42 because that's the problem I'm working on. If it helps, you can also put S144. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and read the first part of this problem, part A. It says plot the following points on graph paper. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. But this is one way to do it so that you can connect the dots and create a shape. So the first point is 2 comma 1. And I'm going to keep it all on the same line so that they connect. The second point is 3 comma 1. Third point is 5 comma 5. And again, this is on page S144. And the fourth point is 2 comma 5. Okay. Now you see you've got four dots there. Okay. I'm going to click and hold onto this red circle that's got a bunch of dots on it and toggle the lines button, okay? I'm also gonna put labels too, I like labels. But we see that the shape isn't complete. We see that there's a missing line here. So we, what we wanna do is loop it back around and put the two comma one point so that it goes back to the first point. Okay. I'm going to label this original. Okay. Because so, this is our original shape. Now that's part A. Part B says without graphing, predict how you think the figure is going to change if we multiply by two. If we multiply the x and y coordinates by two. Well, I'm going to skip the prediction and go straight to graphing it. So I want to graph the original points here, but I want to multiply them by two. So I'm just going to copy and paste them and then multiply each coordinate by two. So two times two is four. One times two is two. And we're going to keep on doing that. Three times two, six. One times two is two because I'm multiplying each coordinate by two. So this will be 10 and 10, four, 10, and then four, two. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit here. And we see the four dots. You wanna click on the blue icon there, click on lines, label and now we can say we'll label this multiply by two okay so we see the original one and the new okay and that's how you're going to use desmos to plot your dilations please use this resource from now on if your workbook tells you to graph something and I'm gonna save that and I can share this with you if I want to, to give you some resources.